Hi guys, Artic here. So, uh, welcome back to the Golden City Challenge. So, if you follow my previous video, you if you went all into Brewster, the high risk, high reward, or you actually went for the safe road, is the expected the lower turn, right? So, you should be getting both win. So, so far at round 1, 2, 3, 4, everything is basically all correct, other than the round 2, the Fafnir, the Amir part. But basically, everything else is all correct. So, let's take a look how it goes, right? I'm pretty sure like Suja is on par with Brewster because um, Sachiko provides crit rate which is I actually um, missed the part until someone comment down that Sachiko will provide 30% of the crit rate You see so everyone when they take their action Brewster will follow up with one bullet that's why Brewster damage will not be lower than the Suja's damage and this Suja here the true damage is like pretty good right but you have to know that the equipment of this Suja is using very very low attack so when the equipment is so low the attack is so low the true damage is also very low right so Suja applies the damage taken increase Sachiko and then okay applies the defend break applies disease okay right so the apex damage here is not very it's almost gonna kill Brewster but because we have Sakura healing to heal back up and also the damage taken reduce. Right, so Brewster just keep shooting up the bullet. Yeah, pretty much I think that's the reason why Brewster out damage Suji. Okay, so let's see the final outcome. Yeah, see DPS wise both is very close, right? Like I like I mentioned, it's either Suji or Brewster. But Brewster have the advantage of consistent and also ev the, like the wave 1 to wave 2 every time we do more damage than Suji. Okay, so now is the last um, round for the Golden City Challenge. It's a PvP content. It's a Speed Team versus a Wuyu plus Anna team. So, okay, so if we take a look at the Speed Comm here. So TA team here have a Speed Lead. So definitely TA is going to take the action first. So TA will take the action, cast S3, AP swap with the highest um, highest enemy which is going to be Chu Yao so Chu Yao will get AP swap down and then Momo will get AP push okay so AP um, Chu Yao will become the lowest and then everyone get AP down so uh, uh, and then everyone in the TA team will get AP push so Momo will take the second action Momo will cast S3 don't know where Momo will cast on but I feel like Momo will cast S3 on Sakura because usually the AI will target Sakura, I think. It will target on Sakura, S3, and then the next one will be our own Sakura, the Speed Team Sakura, to cast S3 to buff up your team, to apply the um, healing. And then Suje will S3 on one of them. Not sure who is it, who is it going to S3, but this is the R6 Suje. So it will spread the puppet art. So they have the chance to actually get resist. And then um, Lim here will S, uh, S3 to apply on Suje. And then S, S3, S1 again. And this is R6 Liam, so we will S1 and then follow up with another S1. So just by looking at this part here, I think the blue team will win because of the sustain of control. And enemy here team here is Buyu, right? But because we have R6 Momo here, I think it's it's okay to actually kill Buyu um, when Buyu take an action. Because this Momo is pretty strong. This is a R6 D6 Momo, fully skill up. And then you can go up to 10 stack of rough. Okay, so and this is a R6 Anna. So every time when Anna take action, it will get counter attacked by Momo. That's the that so I think Anna will not survive long. I think Anna will die. So the order if we take action, so S3, it, um we will get two stack and then Momo will do some action, then Sakura Mom, um we is going to get another two stack so it's four. I think that we will actually die through um Momo counter attack, Suja will able to protect the whole team, Sakura is able to sustain the heal because this Sakura here is fully max skill and then the rival rune is also max but if we take a look at this Sakura, the red team Sakura is not max, it's only plus 12 and I think Anna will die because uh, of the consistent counter attack because it's R2 above then Momo will just keep on slashing Anna until Anna die then Lane will bubble up everything right so uh, last round here my feeling I will go for I think blue team will win just because of R6 Suje with and also R6 Momo because we have the advantage of low um taking the action first we can spread the puppet art 
and if the Papa art actually um, take into action, then they'll get torn. Unless we are so unlucky, all the Papa art torn didn't, didn't apply. So for the winner part here, but if you already follow me since round one until round four, pretty much you already claim all the rewards from the asset. You should already claim everything else. So um, if you want to play uh, just for fun, you can just like put everything else like bet both sides you're gonna win anyway but if we are going to go for a current bet i i personally i will go for blue team even though a lot of players vote for red team because i think because they they feel like r6 and i is very op and then they have a will you there but i don't think so i think momo will kill the anna even though the anna got spirit against by chu yao because it's the highest attack here but momo doesn't get a fact momo is a true damage dealer it's a multi-hit asper and then this is a R61, so it will get the rough stack very fast. So yeah, I'll go I'll go like half here for the blue. Then for the highest total damage. Highest total damage, I think I will go for let's see, let's see who is it here. Liam Suje Momo Anna. Everyone is voting for Anna. I think I, I think everyone have been overrated for Anna R6 part. Because the more Anna counter attack, the more Momo will actually consistent count slash back to Anna, and then the faster Momo is able to get out her rough stack. And the rough stack will make her increase the damage taken, the maze rate reduce, more healing, and more attack. So that's the reason why I think Momo won't die that easily. And because we have Sakura to heal, we have Liam to heal, we have Suje to um, delay their death, we have um, TA here to consistent. AP down them, so I think total highest damage plus I, it's either Momo or Anna. I think we win this two. I don't think it will be Suji or Liam, but I think Momo will slash Anna to die, so Momo uh, Anna won't counter attack that often. So I will put the rest for high risk, high reward. I will go for Momo. But if you want to play, if you want to play safe, you can actually go for Momo and Anna. It doesn't matter. You you, you will still get it anyway. Okay, so I'll put it here. Yeah, so this is my bet. This is the last round. So it doesn't really matter too much already. If you already follow my bet since round one, round two, round three, round four, you should be already very rich because uh, if you're all in Brewster, I think a lot of you actually all in for Brewster, right? I saw the comment, like everyone just went for all in Brewster. So you should already fulfill all the condition for the base reward itself. All right, so pretty much that's it, I think. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to um, comment down how do you guys think about it and which bet are you going for? Are you still going to follow my bet on round 5 or are you going to try something else different? Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.